All right. So guys, just standing to the top of your mat with the form of the body. Okay. Uh, okay. So just standing to the end of your mat. All right. We're going to take an inhale as we reach our hands to ceiling. And then exhale, just bend the knee softly and bring your hands down towards the floor. Okay. Just let your head drop down and look down between your legs in around the knee area. Okay. Your eyeline should meet in approximately around the knee area. Just following this position, take any tension out of the shoulders and the back and just let the body relax. Okay. Let the arms just hang and the fingers and hands relax there also. No tension. Okay. From there, you're going to take a big breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to slowly, slowly straighten the legs. But as you straighten the legs, I want you to bring your hands onto your feet and then onto your shins. And as you come up further, your legs will naturally straighten out. And then uh, bring your spine slowly, one vertebrae at a time, back into a nice, long step. Okay? We're going to do the same again. We're going to take an inhale as we reach our hands to the ceiling. Exhale, gently soften the knees. And leaning forward. Welcome to the class, Karen. Okay, so we're standing to the end of our mat, knees hip distance apart, and we're just bending forward gently, keep the knees bent to begin, hands resting onto the mat, no tension, relax the head down and relax everything. The so shoulders are just nice and relaxed, hands are just sitting there on the mat, arms are hanging, and your neck is hanging also. Don't hold any tension here, guys. We're going to take a big breath into the nose. And then on the exhale, I want you to gently press into the back of the knee so as if you're trying to straighten them out. But as you do so, bring your hands onto your feet, walk them up towards your shins, gently up towards the knees, straighten out the legs by the time you get to the knees with your hands, straighten those legs out, and gently articulate your spine one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders back for three, two, and one. We're going to inhale, reach the hands to the ceiling. And then exhale, bring the hands fully down to the mat, but bend the knees as much as you need to and walk your hands forward, please, into a high plank position. Push the heels back, squeeze the bum, a nice long line, please. Draw the shoulder blades away, really pushing into the mat with your hands. We're going to stay here for a breath in. And then on the exhale, I want you to bring your bum towards the ceiling, walk your hands back a little bit, just to get a little bit higher with your backside towards the ceiling, and push the heels down towards the mat. Okay? From there, I want you to bring your left leg behind your right. Deepen that to kiddies and calf stretch. Holding. And then bring that left foot down and bring your right foot down around the back of the left Achilles and push that heel down. Swapping over, one more each side. Right foot down. Left foot behind your Achilles. And then swapping over, left foot down and right foot at the back. Pushing down. Bring the other the right foot down. There's something marked. My neck is in my neck. <laughs> I want you to march your legs, please. So bending your knee, opposite knee. Is bending, and then the other leg is straightening. Alternate. March it out. Push the heel down as you march out that straight leg, pushing down with that heel. Good. Staying nice and high with your backside. For two. One, and then bring those feet hip distance apart, keep the bum up, take an inhale. And then on the exhale, coming back into a high plank position, squeeze the bum. Gently drop your knees down towards the floor. From there, I want you to bring your knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders, and draw your belly button towards your spine gently, not too hard. Don't suck it in, you're actually drawing it in. There's a difference, okay? If you're not certain what that is, I can show you after class, just ask me, okay? Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, okay? I want a neutral spine, so don't fully relax the spine, just a little gentle tuck. Take an inhale here. We're going for cat cow, and on the exhale, we're going to tuck the pelvis, so draw, keep your head where it is for now. So draw the pelvis in underneath you, rounding that lower back. Push into the mat with your hands, drive the spine to ceiling, and then relax the head down. We're going to stay for a breath in, and then on the exhale, we're going to stick our bum away, so really. Driving that backside away from you, Cur curling that pelvis also away, rounding that lower spine. So you're dipping your pelvis down towards the mat, okay? And then once you get to your mid spine, you can start to release the head up, looking straight ahead, okay? Inhale to stay here. And then on the exhale, put the pelvis. Head stays where it is, rounding through that pelvis. 
around through that lower spine, mid spine, drive forward, sitting with your hands, and then release the head down. Okay, we're going to move on the inhale. We're going to open, inhale to open. Open, open, open. Breathing in as you expand the ribs this time. And then we're going to tuck on the exhale. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Good. And bring the eye line down. Go V. Inhale to open. We're going for three more. And exhale. Two. Inhale to open. And exhale. Last one. Breathing in as you open up. And exhale. Okay, extend your left leg, extend your right leg back, back into downward dog position, please. Pushing down, take an inhale, and then the exhale. I want you to bring your right leg forward into a lunge position, okay? And left leg back. From there, I want you to drop your left knee onto the floor, bring your hands onto the inner part of your right leg, okay? And lunge forward. Push into the inside of that right leg to get a nice little adductor stretch. Release the right hand. Just do this once on each side. Release that right hand and look at it towards the ceiling. Bring it back, down away from you. Follow that hand. So get a right, really good rotation there, guys. So I'm dropping my arm down towards my back side and I'm still following it with my eyes. Really deep rotation. Make an inhale and then on the exhale, bring it over your head and bring it down onto the mat. We're going to bring that leg back and swap over, please. Whatever way you may need to, you need to drop out of it and into it. Bring the hand down into the inner part of that left leg, extending the right leg back a little bit deeper. And then we're going to release the right, our left arm. So left leg is in front and reaching that left arm to ceiling. Okay. From there, I want you to extend that arm back. Follow that arm. Follow your hands, reaching that arm back in line with your, your backside. Okay. Resting above your backside, parallel to the floor. We're going to stay for another inhale. And then the exhale, bring that arm over your head like a rainbow and bring it back down onto the floor. Lean into that leg just a little bit more and then bring it down, okay? From there, bring your hands out front, come back into a plank position. Lovely. And then bring your bum towards the ceiling, bend your knees and walk them forward. Okay, keep your feet in line with your hips and slowly, slowly coming up to standing when you're ready. Okay, let's get cracking, okay. So we're gonna start with a couple of uh, warm up but active exercises, kind of high intensity. We're doing uh, lunges, squats, squat jumps, planks, press ups. Then we're gonna go into squat jumps. This is where you, if you want the bands, you can put them on, it's up to you from the start. Completely up to you, throw on the shorter bands. But we are doing a lot of um, high intensity. So there's again squat jumps, reverse lunge with a jump, side lunge, and then onto the mat again. Okay, so completely up to you and um, optional. So put the bands on there if you want. Okay, your choice. It's gonna be tough enough. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a nice gentle squat. Okay, coming down into a squat, going for high reps with this one. So Again, keep the band on. Make sure you're pushing into the band that's wrapped around the legs. And don't let the knees buckle in. I will come over and check you every now and again. Good. Good, keep going. Nine, eight, seven. Good, six. You need to feel that squat, guys, so push the heels down. Four, three, two and one we're coming into a reverse lunge and then just bringing the foot back okay right leg back good again pushing the heel of the front leg down and if you want to introduce the arms that's great okay then high rest we're halfway nice Touching that foot down. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, 
four, three, two, good, and one. Swap the legs, please. Bring that other leg in front and go. Ten, nine, good. Eight, seven, fair play, Pamela Bandam. Five, four, three, I think you're the only glut for punishment. Two, and one. Okay, from there, guys, we're going into squat jumps. So gently come down because we're still kind of getting warmed up. So come halfway down and then explode up. Okay, for 10, 9, 8, 7. Really drive up. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You're going to hit your mat, guys. Please. Into plank position. Walk those hands up into a high plank. If your wrists are sore, you can come onto your elbows. Holding this position, please. We're going to gently rock forward and back. You also have the option of coming onto your fist if your wrists are sore. Forward and back. Well done. Keep going, rocking forward and back. Heels away as you come back. Breathing in and out. In as you come forward, exhale to push back. Two, one, drop to your knees, please. Hands down onto the mat and bring your hips down. So your core is engaged. Drop the hips. So this is the angle you need to be at before you begin. We're doing shoulder tap when you're ready. Try and keep nice and strong through the core. So not too much shifting. Okay. We're dropping straight into presses after this for 20 reps. Okay. That's why I brought you down onto your knees. You can come up off your knees if you want. Completely optional for those that feel too strong for this. Work away. Okay. Your arms will be fatigued. Go into press. Lovely. Three, two, one. Wide stance with the hands, please. We're going into press up position. Okay. When you're ready, three, two, one, and go. 20 reps. Chest to floor, please. Hips down. Squeeze the bum. Okay. One, now give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six. That's it, five, four, breathing. Three, two, and one. Lovely stuff, come to standing when you're ready, please. We're going again. Okay, back into squat, taking up the intensity a little bit. If you haven't got the bands on, you want to put them on now, please do so if you want. You can always take them off if it's too much. Grab them if you want. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one, and drop down into a squat. Go deeper if you can. It should be a little bit warmed up and allow you to go into that deeper squat. Push the heels down. Feel the bone contracting. Feel the quads firing up nicely. Keep that upper body nice and tall. Good. Nice gentle lock out of the quads. Don't lock out the knees too hard. Maybe that. For three, for two, for one. Left leg in front, the right leg behind. This time, guys, we're going to drive the knee up and then bring it back. Okay? Use the arms. Bring the arms into it. Good. Nearly halfway. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two guys. Last one, swap over, please. Left leg behind, drop it down first. Get that leg down. Or I feel the heel digging down the front leg and drive. Keep the toes down also. Drive the knee up. Well done. Three, two, 
One halfway for 10. Good. Nine, careful. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Here we can. Three. <laughs> two. And one. We're going straight into squat jumps, please. For 10. Three, two, one, and go. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hit the mat, please. Down to plank. Right plank or on your elbows, whichever option you prefer, and whichever option your wrists will allow you to do. Also, option coming onto your fists, as I said the last time. Holding, push the heels away, squeeze the bum. By that belly button, fine, nice long line. Holding. Instead of shifting the weight forward and back, we're going to drop the left knee down, bring it back. Right knee down. Left and right. Give me six more. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, hold the plank. And from there, stay up off your knees if you can. If you need to come down like the last time, do shoulder tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, well done. Breathing, four, three, two, one, down into your press ups, guys. We are going for 20 more. I'll be spot checking. We get the uh, position right first. Drop the hips down, squeeze the bum. Three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and halfway. 10, nine, eight, seven. Draw the belly button spine. For four, for three, for two, for one. Good stuff, okay, coming back up to standing, guys. First round done, all right. So just a nice, gentle jog in the spot. Just to shake out the legs before we move on to the next one and keep the heart rate up. We don't want that heart rate dropping, okay. From there, guys, we're going to just go on to a double tap on the left hand and right. So double skip. Good. So you're jumping twice on the left and the right. If you want to introduce the arms you can and then stick out the leg. That's up to you. <laughs> Imaginary skipping. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bring it in. Okay, from there, guys, going to squat jumps. Just watch, we're doing what we did earlier. Then we're coming into a reverse lunge, okay, with the jump. Okay, so exploding up, that's an option. Other option is just a squat, squat, and lunge. Lunge. Okay, so it's a double squat. We're going to squat twice, explode up, explode up, reverse, drive up, and then drive up, and then we're going into double squat. As I said, if your knees or anything so are sore, don't do the jumps. Okay, when you're ready, three, two, one. So we're squatting and jumping, squat and jump. Okay, it'll take you a while to get used to it. Jump, right leg twice. Left leg twice. Okay. And back into squat. Drive. Drive. Back leg. Drive up. Back leg. Same side. Double. Woo. Double. Good. Drive. Reverse. Drive. Drive. Good. Swap legs. Drive. Drive. Okay. A bit of coordination needed. Right leg back, drive, and drive, and swap, and swap. Lovely, keep going, squat, jump. Other option is just squatting, reverse, reverse or drive the knee, and then swap. Drive, drive, okay, keep going, double squat. Lovely, drive, drive that knee guys high, swap over. 
Don't worry about the arms if you're all over the shop, but ideally try and get it right because it will help you get higher in that jump. Swap. Lovely. Two more rounds, guys. Swap it over. Swap over. Left leg back. Nearly there. Last round. For two. One. Bring the leg back. Angle. Swap over. Last one. Good stuff. Come down to your side lunge. Lean into that right leg. Upper body nice and tall. We're going to come back up. Bring the knee up. Bring it down. Drive up. Bring it down. Other option is literally just bring the leg in and out. Okay? If you find it hard to balance, don't worry. And if you've got the band on, and you find the knee lift too much, you have the option of just keeping the leg down. Really kind of driving that knee up as if it's going towards your opposite elbow. You're getting a little ab activation too. Good. Keep going. Give me five more. For four. Three. Good. Two. And one. Now, this is when we have to do the other side. That's the problem. You're too seventy. <laughs> you know, you have to do it all over again. So, lean down into that left side first, guys. Get the positioning of your knee right, facing the toes. Get that right. I'm very adamant about that. So once you're in that position then guys, just come up slowly, get a feel for it, nice standing leg straight, and then come down and you'll naturally get into a nice rhythm. Bring the arms into it if you want. And really drive that knee up. Okay. Well done. Keep going. Keep an eye on you today, girls. Not like last week. <laughs> Good. Give me five more. For four. Just focus on form as well, please. Three. Two. Good. One. Well done. Good stuff. Okay, guys. We're going to do it all over again. But we're going to stick with squats, get them done, and then do the reverse lunges separate, okay? Okay, when you're ready, three, two, one, and we're going for 10 reps this time. So drive up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Staying on your right leg, right leg behind, and drive up. Left arm forward as you drive that right knee up. Left arm forward, jumping on the left leg. Okay, other option is just drive. Three, two, one, swap over. Left leg behind, guys. Okay, right arm forward. And go, jump. Okay, get your position right. Well done. Keep going. Good. Lovely. Nice drive, Emer. And Babs and Claire. Good. Well done, Karen. Just give me two more, please. That's it, Laura. Being smart. One. And bring it down, guys. Side lunge. I want you to bring your arms out. Okay. And we're going to stay with the legs down this time. So lean into the right side. Okay. And then coming back up, bring the leg in. Okay. Drive out, keep the arms out and we'll down, or wide. Okay. Good. Really pushing down that foot when it hits the floor, into that heel. Really drive into that right heel as it comes down. Get a nice glute activation here, okay? And two more. And one. Okay, 
just drop the arms down for a second if your neck is sore, or you can leave them out altogether if you're suffering with any neck issues, okay? Other side, lean down to that left side, okay? In and out. Good. Just mind your knees, please. We hit the mat after this. Two and one. Lovely stuff. Coming down onto your mat, onto your back, please. All right. So easy. And I'm just going to show you, you haven't done this before, so just watch for a minute if you can. All right. So your arms are going to reach back, legs are going to lower. You're going to come up towards your legs. Okay, head is lifted. Head comes down, arms go back, legs come down, and then you bend your knees and then come in and lift your head again. If your neck is sore, you can support your head. You can lift up, lower, and lift. That's the other option. Lift, lower, bend the knees, and down, okay? Are you ready? Or if your neck is really sore, you can just do the reverse curls with the legs, okay? And rest your head down. These three options there, guys. Always looking after you. Okay, so we're going to start extending the legs, please. That's comfortable. Make sure you've got an imprint in your lower back. And from there, reaching the arms back. Take a breath in, imprint your lower back. Exhale to come up and touch your knees or your shins. Lower your legs, lower your head, reach your arms back. Keep your imprint, bend the knees, reach the outer shins, come up into the sit up. Extend the legs, reach the arms back, rest your head down. Reach the legs up, reach towards your legs with your hands sitting up. Lower the legs. Bend the knees, reach. Inhale as you extend. Exhale to reach. Inhale to lower. Exhale to reach. Good. Reach away. Keep the imprint, guys. Don't lose it. If you're losing it, rest your head down, place your hands on your lower back, and just go with straight legs with your hands under your lower back. Keep going. Well done. We're gonna go for four more. Three, two, well done. One more. Good stuff. Bring the knees into your chest. Okay. Well done. Okay, we are coming onto our hands and knees, please. Hope you're all okay. Class is flying. That's 30 minutes done, guys. But I'm finishing it out, so. Tough, tough. Watch my language. So knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. I want the, the nice kind of wide, narrow stance of the hands. We're going for triceps, okay? From there, guys, I want you to extend your left leg back and lift it up. Okay, so make sure your right knee is under your right hip. And keep that nice position with the pelvis. Don't lean over towards your right side too much. From there, we're going to drop down with our chest to floor, keep the leg elevated, and come back up for 10. Nine, keep the elbows in tight. Eight, seven, six, five. Really feel the glute activation here as well as you lift that leg up. Okay, two, one, drop that knee down. Realign yourself before you start again. Position your hands correctly, position your knees correctly, and also position the core. So draw the belly button spine. Little uh, neutral pelvis, so gentle tuck, extending the other leg straight. Okay, from there, guys, dropping your chest towards the floor. Lift that leg up to squeeze the bum. Good. Drop it down. Keep the elbows in tight. Well done. Two and one. Lovely stuff. Okay, from there, guys, back into plank position. I'm actually going to come on to the I hate doing these on this mat. It moves. Okay, from there, guys, plank. And we're going to go for leg abduction. So left leg out, right leg out. Bring it in, bring it in. Right, left, in, in. Normally we're being left out and back in, but we're going out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. If you want to come onto your elbows, you can. In or onto your knees. Give me two more. Last one. 
Bend the knees down, please. We're nearly done. Two more exercises. Guys, we're coming into side plank. Everybody in a full side plank, but we're rotating left to right. So just if you want to watch for a moment. Coming up into side plank. And then we're going to squat, left elbow down. Bring your foot in front. Please watch for now. Top leg is forward. And the reason being is that it's an easy transition. You just pivot on your toes and release. And squat. If you want, if you've any issues in your back and you feel it's too much, you can hold, let's say, for 10 seconds on one side and then swap over. Okay, ready? Go, guys, if you haven't started. Onto the right and then onto your left. For eight more. Just mind yourselves coming in and out. Squat, please. Good. For six. Five. For four, last three guys, well done. Two, and last one. Okay, onto your back. We are done after this last exercise, okay? So I want you to bring yourselves into imprint, bring your legs into tabletop position, okay? Hands behind the head. We're going for oblique. We're going to take an inhale here. On the exhale, keep your left leg bent. Extend your right leg and rotate towards that left leg. Back into center, bring your leg back into tabletop. So both knees bent. Extend your left leg, rotate towards your right. Bring the knee back, rest your head down and rotate. Drop it down. Keep your imprint, please. If you find it hard to maintain imprint, just keep your knees bent and do the same movement, okay? Good. Still work through that. Lovely. So you're bent or reaching towards the bent knee with that right side of your body if it's your left knee, left side of your body if it's your right. Keep going. Nearly there. Give me two more. One more. And bring your knees into your chest and say, ah, oh, good job. Well done. Amazing what you can get done in 30 minutes. You put your mind to it. Okay, guys, just let your legs fall to the left side of the room and reach your arms back. Breathing into this as much as you can. Lifting that um, ribcage that's reaching towards the ceiling. As you inhale, really expand through that. A nice deep stretch. Slowly bring your hands down, okay? And bring the legs to the other side. And reach the arms back. Breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. Listen to Tom jumping up and down the pedal stairs. <laughs> okay, bring your knees into your chest. Extend your right leg, keep the left knee in against your chest. Hold, if you need to bend the right knee, you can. Back in your back. And then bring your knee to your opposite shoulder. And swap over, bring your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg, and then bring that knee towards your opposite shoulder. Okay, coming onto your bum bums, bring your left leg front and right leg back. 
And then we're going to reach over towards our right side. So left leg in front, right leg behind, and reaching over towards the right side. Nice mermaid stretch. Make sure that you're not rotating. Keep that space kind of in line. Imagine you're in between two panes of glass. Your body is staying in between two panes of glass, forward and back. And swap over. Bring the left leg back, right leg in front, and reach your right arm towards your left side. Try and keep that front leg down. Let the knee lift too much if you can. And if it is, apply a bit of pressure with that opposite hand to keep it down. Release down, come onto your knees, please, and bring your left leg forward, and right leg back. Reach your right arm to ceiling. Tuck your pelvis a little bit if you want to get a deeper hip flexor stretch. Bands will be back next week if you weren't using them today. And squat. If you don't have bands, try and get them before next week and reach up. Lovely. <laughs> reach. And then slowly come to standing. Last stretch, guys. Nice wide stance to the legs. We're going to lean onto your right leg. Hold. Lean onto the left. Okay. Back to center, take a big breath in, reach your hands to the ceiling, and then exhale, just let your fingers walk down towards the floor. If you can, if you can't, just grab the outsides of your shins and hold that position, but relax your head down, keeping no tension in the neck. <laughs> Hold. Holding. Keep the legs straight, by the way. No bend in the knee. Okay, now you can place your hands on your shins if you're not there already. And just walk your hands up your legs as you straighten up back into a nice standing position. And well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're coming in? Yeah, well done, everybody. Good class.